Welcome back to Red Monkey Show. Hope you're doing well wherever you are. So in today's video, I'm going to give you a very quick update on Elementor's latest feature, which is the uh, wireframe kits. Now, you may have used kits in the past before. If you haven't, a kit is essentially a pre-built design of a website that you can simply take and then apply onto your site. So basically, a kit would have everything a website normally would have. It would have content, pages, it would have the templates, the design, the styles, and so on. But what's new right now is that they've introduced wireframe kits. Wireframes are a little bit different in that they're not the full package, okay? You're not going to have content or things like that. They're basically kind of like architectural designs of how a website would look like. And then you simply take that design, apply it, and then you can then add your own content if you want to. So let me show you the new wireframe kits to access them. You'd go to your backend, obviously, and then right here under Elementor, you would have templates. You would have the kit library right there. You click in there. Now, you're going to have three main uh, sections on this page. You'll have categories, tags, and then kits by plan. These are would allow you to search for a particular kit that you might be interested in. What I would recommend is that you start off down here where you have the kits by plan because, you know, with Elementor, you've got three different kinds of subscription plans. You've got the free access, pro, and then expert. So, depending on the plan that you're on, uh, you may have access or may not have access to certain kinds of uh, frames and kits. So I'm using the free version on this particular set. So I'll simply come in here and then click on free. And then right now we have access to just 10 uh, kits. Five of them are wireframes while the remaining five are actual full uh, kits. So you can see right now the difference between the ones on top and the ones below. The ones on top are the new wireframes. Wireframes, are, again, are just kind of like architectural designs. Let's click on the very first one in here, the local workshop wireframe one. We can view the demo. And what you'll see here is you're not going to see the actual content. It's just kind of like the concept. So right now you would see the logo right there. You will have the main menu on the right. We're going to have the headline on the left. We'll have this big image on the right. And then below we can have like the title introducing the company, maybe an image right there on the right. We'll have the workshop section and so on. So this is kind of like the wireframe of a proposed website. The beauty about wireframes is that if you are a freelancer, you're somebody building websites for clients, you can use them to give the client an idea of the kind of website you want to build. So as an example, again, you can go to the local, uh, let's go to the local services wireframe two, just as an example, right? So this one's going to be a little bit different in that Again, we'll have the logo on the left, menu on the right, but then we'll now have this big banner image on the home page with the headline. We'll have your contact us button right there, services section, why choose us section, about our company section, and so on. So again, wireframes are meant to give you an idea or give your client an idea of the kind of website you want to build. You will also have access to the responsive designs, the one for the tablet right here. You see how it looked like on tablet and then of course the one for uh, mobile devices. Let's go back below here. These are the actual kits that have all the content, all the templates and so on. As an example, let's go. Let's take a look at the very first one, right? The out of bakery, obviously a website for a bakery. And right here, you can see the obvious difference. This one has actual text. It has actual images. It has animation. You scroll down, you have everything in here that you need. So essentially, kits are more have a lot more uh, juice. They have a lot more content than, than just a wireframe. So if you want to make use of the kits or the wireframes, all you have to do is right there, you'll see apply kits. You click on apply kit. And now the thing is, you'll have the option of using everything you see on that kit or wireframe, or you can choose to customize. Let me show you the customize option. When you click on customize, you will have the option of saying, hey, okay, I want to import just the templates, or maybe I want to make use of just the content alone, or maybe just the site settings, like, you know, your global colors, global fonts, and so on. So right now, you'll have the option of choosing which particular uh, parts of that kit that you want to import onto your site. I'm going to go ahead and just simply choose none of them because I'm not actually uh, importing anything. But I'll click on next. Actually, I have to choose one. So let, let's go with templates, right? I'll click on next. So now it will say, okay, your kit is now live. And that's uh, pretty much it. So that's how you would make use of your template kits. Let me just close this and go back to the templates page. I want to show you a few more things. So if you're using, let's say, the pro plan, obviously you would have access to a lot more wireframes and kits. 
one thing that can really help you is that you can search by categories. So right here, you'll have all the categories, business and services, health and wellness, blogs, and so on. But then you also have, even more powerful, you have tags. You can search for a wireframe or a kit that is creative in design, or maybe one for a decor, one for a law firm, a consultant firm, hers, travel, uh, magazine. Let's take a look at the one for travel because I love travel. So right there for travel, you can see we already have the kits in here. One with the Eiffel Tower right there, Adventurers, Heaven on Earth. So I would highly encourage you, if you're somebody that builds websites for a living, maybe you're a freelancer, make use of these kits uh, because they will just make your life so much easier. And many times you may not be a web designer, designer and you may struggle to come up with ideas of, okay, how would I want to build this website? What kind of design should it have? You can use these as a source of inspiration. So that is pretty much it. Now, before I close, you can also import and export uh, your template kits as well. How would you do that? It's actually very, very, very simple. Let me close this. What you want to do is you'd go to your uh, settings. I'm sorry, not settings. You go to tools. And then tools right here, you'll have the import export kit tab right there. So in here, maybe you've built a particular kit on your site that you like and you want to export that to another site. You simply click on start export. And then if it's the reverse, there's another kit that you've downloaded from another website. You can simply come in here and start the import and uh, that's how you'll be able to export or import uh, template kits. So that's it for the new wireframes and kits provided by Elementor. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them down in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them as soon as I can. As always, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Share the video with anyone whom you feel might benefit. And if you're new here or you're, you've been here before and you haven't yet subscribed, please do subscribe. Hit the bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new tutorial. My name is Alex. It's been a pleasure. I'll see you soon. Cheers.